Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for a, another weekly grocery haul video. I'm sitting in Walmart waiting for my order and I thought that I would just chat with you guys a little bit. If I sound stuffy, it's because I am. I think that um, Finley had a cold that I then caught and Chris has caught it. And so we all have this cold now. So I am literally sitting here in my pajamas. Like you can't see, but I have pajama pants on. I made the order out last night, um, and came up here in my pajamas. It's also five o'clock at night because that was the only order they had left by the night, but it's a pretty big order. And I wanted to chat with you guys a little bit about what the order is. So there you are going to see lots of stuff for Christmas, obviously. Um, for what we do on Christmas is for my mother-in-law, we actually go to her house and have Christmas on Christmas Eve. And um, this year she has decided to get barbecue from like a local barbecue restaurant. So what we did for our part was we actually called a different barbecue restaurant and ordered um, like a steakhouse or I guess pork green bean mixture that they make and a um, hash brown casserole. So we ordered a pan of each of those that we're going to be picking up and taking with us. So it was like super simple. That's my part for her. Um, for my mom, we actually go on Christmas day for dinner and I am doing, um, the mashed potatoes. They like a, like sour cream and chive mashed potatoes that they say I make well. So that's my part for my mom's house. And then for our, I thought my order was coming, but it's not for our, um, celebration, like just as a, our family unit, we actually make Christmas breakfast. So that's something that I will make after we all open our presents and everything on Christmas day, I will make breakfast. So you're going to see sort of all of the stuff for that in this haul, as well as, um, some cookie stuff and some stuff to make some like fun treats this week. And then there also is going to be a lot more convenience stuff because the kids are out of school and, um, uh, they got out of school Friday and they usually get lunch at school. Our school system does free lunch right now. They have really since COVID hit. Um, so I haven't had to worry about feeding them lunch really. And now I'm like, Oh, I have to feed them for two weeks straight. So I need like quick stuff for them to be able to either make themselves or for me to make really quickly for them. So you're going to see a lot of like quick lunch options and stuff like that for them as well. So this, all of that to say, this is a pretty big haul. I spent well over $200, which is the biggest grocery haul that I have done in a very, very long time. And I'm hoping that it lasts for a very long time. Um, for meals this week, we actually are keeping it pretty simple. So Friday and Saturday, you guys know that's Christmas Eve and Christmas. So that's sort of already taken care of. And then, um, tonight, which is Sunday night, I actually made a crock pot meal that I filmed for you guys. Um, and then the rest of the week we're doing, like, I think I ordered like some chicken strips to do chicken strips and fries one night. I know I got to, um, tostada bowls to do like taco salads stuff like quick stuff like that. And I'll sort of just point that out as we go. Um, I sort of just made sure we had food in the house for this week as we're trying to survive the kids being home and all of the Christmas things. I still haven't taken that donation for, um, the food donation that you guys have been seeing me get stuff for. I need to pick up one more haul of that and then take it this week as well. So we just have a lot going on this week. So I wanted to keep things simple. So all that to say, since I just rambled for four minutes, <laughs> I'm waiting for my order. I'm going to get home, lay it all out, and then I will show it to you. Again, it's a big haul, so should be some fun stuff. Um, and then for the rest of this week, you will see a what's for dinner later in the week. And then that's probably it until after Christmas. So if I don't sit down and sort of talk to you guys again, I hope that you enjoy the holiday season with your families. I hope that you remember the reason for this season and that, and why we have what we have and, and who took the ultimate sacrifice or made the ultimate sacrifice for us so that we can live the lives we live. And let's just all love each other and be happy this holiday season because that's what this world needs more of is happiness. Okay. Gonna sit here, wait for my order, try not to have a coughing fit, and then I'll lay it all out and show it to you guys when we get home. 
Okay, guys, we are back from Walmart. I have it all laid out. It covers the entire island. So we're just going to go ahead and get started because I have a lot to show you. So I grabbed some of this naturally hickory smoked, fully cooked, thick cut bacon. This is for um, Christmas morning. So I grabbed two of those just because I wasn't sure how many were in each box. I have some lemonberry squeeze for Kylie and then both of the kids' milk. So some HE milk for Finley and then um, some whole milk for the other kids, which I think is leaking, but it doesn't look like it's, I don't know, it's wet on the outside, but it doesn't look like it's leaking. I'm just gonna show you these couple things around back first. So two of the pink lemonades and then two of the raspberry lemonades. I was completely out um, of drink mixes, so I needed those. And then I grabbed these, hard rolls, 12 count hard rolls. That's not what I ordered. I ordered like the Kaiser rolls like I normally get, um, but they gave me these for sandwiches this week. These are for um, like Christmas cookies and stuff. So I got two of the Great Value white baking chip bags and then two of the milk chocolate. We're gonna be making some like Oreo truffles and some like cookie dough truffles and stuff like that. So that is what all of the chocolate is for. I grabbed some sandwich meat for this week. So this is the lower sodium turkey breast, and this this is just some um, Munster cheese. There's half a pound of that, and then a pound, bless you, a pound of the turkey. Two things of cream cheese, two, two packs of cream cheese. So I need this for the truffles and for the mashed potatoes for Christmas, and I was worried that I wouldn't find any because apparently there's a cream cheese shortage right now. So I ordered two, really just hoping I at least got one, but I got two, so that should work. I got some Hershey's chocolate syrup, butter for the mashed potatoes, and then two huge things of sour cream. I thought I was ordering the little ones. I think I did order the 16 ounce sizes, but they gave me the 24 ounce. So, um, you know, we'll have some leftover sour cream, I guess. I am taking the easy way out on cookies, like real Christmas cookies this year. We are just going to be doing some cutouts with some sugar cookie dough and then some chocolate chip um, cookies as well, just because who doesn't like that? What, baby? Piper? Yeah. Because um, who doesn't love cookies? Yeah, daddy. Chris wanted some orange juice, so I grabbed this. I actually had ordered the Simply, what is it called? Orange. Simply orange. <laughs> the Simply orange orange juice, and they substituted it for the Tropicana, which is fine. I grabbed, Chris asked for some donuts, so I grabbed two bags of Hostess donuts. I think Finley's mocking me back there. A thing of Jolly Rancher, so I grabbed this for my throat. I thought maybe that would soothe my throat a little bit, just to have something to suck on. We needed some freeze-dried, or any kind of chives, really, for the mashed potatoes that I make for Christmas. We were completely out of sweet peas and Finley eats them all the time. So I grabbed two bags of peas. Um, there is some ham back there. You guys know Finley loves that. And then three of the macaroni and cheese meals. Again, I bought some like quick things for the kids to have on hand for lunches this week. Eggs, there's 12 eggs for um, breakfast for Christmas morning. And then also two things of the Simply potatoes, shredded hash browns for Christmas morning. I don't know if I'll end up making both of them, but I just bought two. We needed some toothpaste, so I grabbed a two-pack of the Crest 3D White. This is pretty expensive at Walmart. It's like $6, I think, for this when you can get it at the dollar store, but I needed it, and I didn't feel like going to the dollar store, so I grabbed that there. I also needed some contact solution, so I grabbed that. You guys know that Chris likes... Um, these saltines, so I grabbed them. The kids are home again for the next couple of weeks, so I wanted to get them a few like easier things, like I mentioned, so I grabbed some frosted chocolate chip Pop-Tarts. I haven't bought Pop-Tarts in a really long time, so I went ahead and bought those. These were an impulse purchase. I love the fruit smileys. You can see Kylie's like, <gasps> um, and I, I tried to get the big box and they didn't have it. So I did two of the little ones. I love these things so much. They are the best fruit snacks on the face of the earth. So grabbed those to have as a fun treat this week. And then for some snacks, I got a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos and also a bag of the Nacho Cheese Doritos. Produce is all down here. So we're going to move that down there. I grabbed some bread in case the kids wanted like grilled cheese or anything this week. 
These I was not supposed to get. So this is actually one of the substitutions that I denied. I wanted the um, Waffle Baker's chocolate chip pancakes for the girls to have for breakfast this week. Um, and they were trying to substitute it for these. And I thought I denied, or I know I denied it, and they still sent them. So that's okay. I'm sure Kylie will eat them. I grabbed some sharp cheddar cheese sticks for the kids to have as quick snacks. Some sharp cheddar cheese. We didn't actually even need this because I bought that stuff from Sam's, but I forgot. And just like when I was adding things, I added it. So we have more cheese. Oh, I didn't need this sliced Munster either because I bought deli Munster cheese. So, you know, we're just, we're doing great things over here. So we got lots of cheese. Um, I grabbed some Chick-fil-A sauce because we are going to have an easy meal this week of some chicken tenders and fries, um, which I'll show you the chicken tenders in a minute. And this Chick-fil-A sauce is delicious. So I grabbed one of those. The girls, their favorite cotton candy and strawberry yogurt. They didn't have the Yoplait smooth ones that I got um, last week that I showed you guys. We liked those, or the girls liked them, but they were actually out of stock this week. So I went with the tried and true cotton candy ones. We needed blueberry. We actually had like very little fruit left. We have a couple of apples and some oranges. So I got pretty much everything. We got blueberries, a big thing of strawberries, a big bag of grapes, and then some bananas. So the kids will have plenty of fresh fruit to eat this week, along with like the apples and oranges that are already in there. If they want snacks, like between meals, I try to keep it to a fruit. Usually it's Kylie who's asking me and I'm like, you can grab an orange or whatever. So I like to have a lot of fruit on hand. I grabbed some flour because we were completely out after making um, the stromboli last week. The cookies are both for truffles. So the Oreos, we're making the Oreo truffles like I mentioned. And then this year I decided to try to do some Chips Ahoy like cookie dough truffles. I don't know if it'll work or not, but I don't know. I had the idea. So essentially I'm just doing the same recipe but using chocolate chip cookies instead of Oreos. So I don't know. We'll see how they turn out. We are going to be having some tostada bowls this week. So I grabbed like taco salads essentially. So I grabbed some Mexican rice for that. Kylie asked for pizza, and these are the ones that she picked. Again, easy, quick lunches or whatever. So I have three of these um, triple cheese Totino's party pizzas. Sorry, I had to stop a cough from coming through. Um, five pounds of russet potatoes is for the mashed potatoes on Christmas. And then a head of lettuce to have with our taco salads. A few more things back here. So these Bryson really likes, these chicken taquitos, and he would need something, again, to have for a quick lunch over the next couple of weeks. So I grabbed those for him. A big thing of mayo, I actually ordered a smaller one, and they substituted it um, for the bigger one, which is fine. And then this, my coffee creamer thing, like the lid's broken, but I ordered, again, the vanilla caramel. I told them I didn't want... Oh, no, 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 wait. I did approve the chocolate caramel just because I have no coffee creamer. So I'm going to have to get some vanilla caramel, probably from Food Lion. I grabbed some cups of Velveeta shells in case the girls want an easy meal, again, for lunch. These are the toast tata bowls that we like. There's four in there. Um, four six-inch bowls, I think. Yep, so we'll have salads with that one night this week. And then dinner rolls. Um, Bryson wanted the Ranch Roads rolls. I have a recipe video that has this recipe in it. I'll link it below if you want to watch it. Um, but he asked for that this week, so we're going to have those. Waffle fries and the Southern Breast Tenderloins are for um, the night that we just have some chicken tenders and fries with that Chick-fil-A sauce. So this is just an easy meal. I needed one of those this week. And then the last thing we bought is just another thing of the Little Bites muffins. Finley and Kylie eat these a lot for breakfast, and so we needed them. So that is everything that I got. That was a big haul. We spent just over $200. I think it was like $220. I'll put the exact amount right here somewhere after I look at the receipt. Um, Cause I kept adding things. Like I think it was 206 originally. And then I added several things to the order after. So I'll look at the exact amount and add it here. But this is our last big grocery haul before Christmas. We got our crock pot going over there with dinner. Um, I'm gonna get all these put away, eat dinner, and I will see you guys on Wednesday for a what's for dinner video. And there'll be a nice little fun treat in there as well. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you have a fantastic night. Bye guys. Bye.
Bye.